Well, you might be thinking it's about time you start this workshop series. Hello, my name is Kimberly Smith. I'm the Paper Chef. And you are going to be learning how to send some love this month. And of course, we're going to be going into the month of April as well. So this is the March workshop series, and all the cards will be based on the Sending Love Bundle. I'm going to share this bundle. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from the U.S. You can purchase this bundle from my Stampin' Up! store. But let me show you what it looks like in the catalog. It's really fascinating how you can open up this little mailbox and take out the envelope so it's interactive. Really, really fun. And I'm going to show you what the dies look like. So if you purchase the dies together with the stamp set, you get the bundle 10% off. This is a really cool bundle. All right, let's check it out. So this is a mini catalog. And the mini catalog is still good for, what, till the end of April? So this is the bottom of the mailbox when you do the mailbox, the 3D mailbox. So in your kit, which I'll show you the, I'll show you the contents of the kit after we make the card. So you can see. But you're going you're gonna to be able to put this onto this. And then you have this little, this is going to be the interactive envelope. But today we're not using the interactive pieces. We're using just the grass. Uh, this is a separate die that's going to be in your curated kit for me. And then we're using this envelope and this die. So those happen to be, so oh, here are the other dies too. You got the little tree or like the, the shrubs. You got a little circle for one of your stamps. This, I'm giving you brads in your kit. And I'll show you what those look like. So the brad will be able to move the mailbox flag. Not on this one, but on this one. You're going to be able to put an interactive mailbox flag on your cards. And you can cut out little hearts, little bows. They're just fascinating dies. I just love them. So we are using the Be Mine paper, which isn't just for Valentine's Day, you're going to see. So that just fell out. So we'll put that back here. So we're using, if you already have the bundle, then you want to take out this die because we're going to cut out our stamped image with it. You're going to take out this die for the little envelope. That's right here, the envelope we're going to stamp. This one is a die that's curated in your curated kit. And then this is the grass we're going to be using. And I gave you an extra piece of lemon lime twist. So before we use the dies, we'll do some stamping. So let me just tell you when this catalog is good till, because I, I forgot myself. All right, there's my store. And it is good until April 30th, 2024. So that's when you can buy this bundle till. So I will be going, I mean, the, even though I'm doing the latte, Latte Love or Love Love Latte Love next month because that's already some of the items from that suite are not available again till April because it's sold out like boom in one day. I am going to be doing that in April and that'll spill over to May probably till the new catalog comes out. So we're going to do this the month of March and that one the month of April. All right, so we always have something going on in my channel. First of all, you're going to take a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock and you're going to turn this into a card. That is going to be an A2 card. And I, I just have a new piece of paper here. I'm going to write down those measurements. And I'll write down all the inks we're using and all the stuff. So you're not going to cut and score your card with me. It's all right. You're just going to do that on your own. So we're going to say Daffodil Delight. Because it's going to go with the paper that we're using. So you're going to go ahead and cut that. You're going to have a piece of 8.5 by 11. And you're going to go ahead and make two cards out of that. So it's 11 inches. And then it's four and a quarter over here. Four and a quarter on the sides. And you're going to score it at five and a half. Okay, so go ahead and make two cards. So that's the card base. And then we're going to say DSP is going to be B, like B-E-E. -E. Mine. I have a little package of that. I'll show you that. So the Be Mine paper. And then we're only going to have two layers on this card. And we can add bling later, but I didn't add any bling to this particular one yet. I mean, I'll probably add some bling later. I just want to make sure I have enough for my kits before I start putting bling on my cards. So we're going to use the, you know, some sweet sorbet out here for the stamping, but we're also using a piece of sweet sorbet out there. So we're going to have a layer one that's going to be five and a quarter times four, and then we're going to have a layer two of the same DSP that's going to be a half inch smaller. So it's going to be four and three quarter times, let's see, it would be three and a half, right? Three and a half. Let's double check it, make sure. I'll just, I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and put a little mark there. About there. 
One, two. I've got to find the inch marks. Where are these? Oh my goodness. Am I even using this? Yes. There we go. Put it right there. One, two, three and a half. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Let's get the party started. That's all you need to know for now. I'll put this, I'll try to remember to put this paper back here in a little bit when I get into all the colors of the inking. So for now, I just want to cut. I need to make a little room, get my trimmer. This kit has four kinds of designer series paper in it. Usually you only get two or three, but because you're not getting one of my mom's bags in this particular kit, you're getting a lot of extra cute little, you're getting three specialty papers and four designer series paper, one of them being a sampler from Celebration and three being some current papers we have. So this is the Be Mine. This is in the, this is current in the mini catalog. It's super cute paper. So both sides, I mean, if you didn't get it, get it for next Valentine's Day. We also used this in my fluffiest friends kit when we did the little, I love doing whimsical things on this channel. And so this is good for any time. I just thought it was great for spring, but I thought both sides were really cute. See, I mean, you're not gonna be, you have so much extra, we're gonna use that piece. You have so much extra paper in my kits. We're gonna use this piece that you don't actually use them all in my series and you just make lots of extra things. Okay, so there's the bees and the flowers, the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. Can't help it, can't help singing. So that's what you're gonna do, get those two pieces out. The first one, is going to be, put it like this. You know, that's the way I wanted the these little, these are like little, I guess, B lines we call them. And we're gonna be, make that the four inch wide part. So that way these are like vertical. So you can see them on the side, you know, cause it just makes a cute little border. Or if you're following along and you don't have this paper and you're not getting one of my workshop kits. My workshop kits, by the way, this is, I will keep it open till tomorrow because I'm finally starting this video. But down here in the little right where you get the three dots, Go to Paper Chef's Offerings. It's also on my website, my store site. Paper Chef's Offerings. It's called Clubs and Offerings. And there's something called the Sending Love Workshop Kit. And it doesn't include the actual bundle. But the, you get the bundle yourself if you're a demonstrator. You use your discount or you get it as part of a starter kit or you buy it as a customer. So that was four by five and a quarter. That's what I did. Four by five and a quarter. I like to repeat myself several times because I'm a teacher and I like to repeat myself. So there we go, four inches by five and a quarter is layer one. Layer two, it doesn't matter how you cut it because it's gingham, three and a half. I just double check because I want to see, I, yeah, three and a half by four and three quarters because I wanted to give it that big margin. Okay, four and a half by four and three quarters because you have a half inch margin instead of a typical quarter inch margin around your card. And that is it. I'm not using the specialty papers right now for this project, and I'm not using any extra embellishments, but of course we use Wink Estella. That's the little glitter pen, and we make things shine and go bling, bling, bling. So now we're going to take this piece, and you could either stamp right onto your mat, but I like to put a little silicone mat down here, even though I have this glass mat. I like to put this down, and we're gonna do the hearts around the border not the whole border, just kind of all around except for where the grass is. Just just kind of random, randomly around there. And just get your little tiny stamp and take out the little hearts. Oh, look at, look at this, by the way. I should have told you how cool this is. This is a Kling stamp set. Kling is such a higher quality, I think, than photopolymer. We're going to be using this one today. So we'll put that one over here for a minute. Okay, we're going to be using this one today. <laughs> Lynn wants me to keep singing the song. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Miss You. We're doing the Miss You one, and we're doing these little hearts. That's for our border. And we're doing this little envelope. But aren't these cool? Cling, cling, cling. Cling stamp is like, it's like the, it's like a wooden stamp block, right, but without the wood. So that's what this looks like. All right, so let's put that over there for now. And... Hearts, hearts. All right, sweet sorbet, and we're putting it on the tiny block. When I say tiny block, I mean stamping block. I don't know. A. Stamping block A. It's so cute. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take out sweet sorbet ink because it coordinates with our 
project and we're going to open that up and we're going to just get a little sticky note and just kind of take you know just make sure you get a little just use your sticky note just to tap it on there a little bit just to make sure it's inked up real good and then just go around the go around the borders up and down meaning like you know off the page a little kind of twisting it each time okay now if you want if you wanted to get one in there you might just make a little mess like say I want a little extra heart right there I might mess this part a little bit you know what I mean and just see if I can get that on there all right it should be good enough even though we're not we're gonna have grass down there I just go ahead and put a couple hearts there so I just put a little hearts around the border and then shut that. We're not using that one anymore because we are using Sweet Sorbet on the, this little flag, but we're not using it from the ink pad. We're using it from the blender pen. These are called blender pens, alcohol. So let's do this next. It's going to be, let's see what's next. Why do I have early espresso out? That's probably because of my paper pumpkin. Daffodil Delight, I don't need that either. I'm looking for what I need. Oh, I need black. Black ink is next. I'm like, what do I need? Okay, Memento Black. That's what. That's why this is out right here. So you're going to take this, and you're going to get a piece of basic white. Hmm. Looking for basic white. I'm trying to think of what I did with it. I'm going to have to just take it out of your workshop kit. So in your workshop kit, which I'm going to go over later, you do have basic white in there, and I'm just going to yank it out of here, and hopefully this person... I remember to put it back in before I seal up this bag because I don't want to move from my station. So let's go ahead and chop, chop. I just, let's make it smaller. All right. So we're going to stamp what we need on here. We're going to take this guy and we'll just put, let's see, this little guy, the little envelope. We're going to die cut it out. So let's do a couple little envelopes. We only need one, but just in case. We just stamp a couple in case we need, you know, need them later. I'm going to push that machine out of the way here. All right, good. So we've got our little envelopes. And now we need our, our little mailbox. So we're going to put the mailbox on this giant stamping block here. It's called Stamping Block E. Now you might have a stamparatus which is a retired stamp positioning tool, which is great. If you have that, go for it. Use it. Use it, use it. And now it's so big that you have to ink it up this way. Now, I did just use the stamp earlier today, and it should be dry, and I'm going to just go for it. I usually stamp onto the sticky note first, but you know what? I'm going to be daring and stamp right onto my page. Hold it for a few seconds. Yeah, and it, see, it's a little bit too inky for me on the one part. So we'll just try it again. Maybe not tap so much on that one section. Try it again. Maybe not push so hard. Or maybe my Memento Black has a lot of ink on it. Much better. Easier to color. See what I'm going for? You're going for that lighter look. If you get like a really dark image like that, it's fine. But I just think it's better when you have sort of that look. All right, so good. Yippee, yippee. Let's take our scissors and just get the other side. Or would it, maybe we can even use, maybe I can use my trimmer. Let's take this little part. So I'm going to use that side for that, this side for that. Get it? All right, we're not done yet because we're going to die cut. So let's do the next part, which is just getting the little piece for the grass. Now in your kit, you, you have a full piece of lemon lime twist, my favorite color right now. It's my favorite color of all the colors right now. I just love this color because it's like a party green. Now I'm going to just chop off the edge here and just, that's just the, uh, so what we're going to just do is put this like this to get some grass. I mean, just tape it on there with some painter's tape. All right. So we're getting a piece of grass from lemon lime twist to go along the bottom of the paper. Looks like I need another piece of painter's tape to stay still. I want the bottom to be straight, so that's why I put it like that. 
And now I'm gonna get out the sandwich. We're gonna, and I, I wish we were eating a real sandwich, like a big old Dagwood sandwich, because I'm hungry. But no, we're just doing the die cutting sandwich. We're using the base plate, the bottom of your sandwich. And when I say die cutting sandwich, I'm using this stamping cut and emboss machine. It's an in giant machine that I don't even know if it's available right now to purchase, but it usually is. You probably already have one. If you're in this workshop, you have one. If not, you could still get the mini right now. So plate number one, and then you need plate number two, which is the thin die adapter when you have thin dies. And then you're gonna use one plate number three for the bottom. Then you're gonna place all this stuff on it. Let me show you. You're gonna put this on there. You're gonna put this die on here like so. And you're gonna use some painter's tape to make sure that it's straight. So you're gonna go like this. And now you might be wondering, why don't I color it first? I never, I never color it first. Well, not never, never say never. You can do what you wish because it's your crafts. But it's like color first at your own risk, okay? What do you guys think? Do you guys color first or do you, do you die cut first? I'd much rather color later because what if this slips on the way through the machine and it gets messed up? And then all of a you just spend all that time doing all the alcohol markers and coloring and then it slipped on its way through the machine. Right row, right? And it slipped. And then I'm going to do the grass here. I'm going to put this one here and do the little envelope. So, yeah, let me know if you guys color first or cut first. I'm just putting a little painter's tape on this guy. On the little, can you see me doing that? I'm just putting it on the envelope like so. Hold it in place. And when I say painter's tape, I'm, I'm using washi tape. Right, washi tape is like even better than painter's tape for dyes, but I use painter's tape on my scan and cut, so I use the terms interchangeably. The also post-it note makes a great little tape. That's just low tack tape, by the way. It's just low tack. So put that in there. And you put your then you put another plate number three, which is the top plate. And then okay, let's see. Most of you guys are cutting first. Good. Probably because you listen to me going, no, don't do it. When you guys are color first. I see people do it all the time. They color first, they spend all this time, and then they die cut, which is great. But, like, what if it doesn't work? What if it slips? Now, I'm not, I'm not like, doomsdayer. It's not always going to slip. But, you know, one out of ten times it might slip. This time it looks like it did pretty good. All right, so we have our grass. The grass is always greener. I don't know, maybe I put too much tape on this grass. <laughs> Get this grass out. I got this. I didn't mean to put so much tape on it to hold the die in place. I should have just taped it to the plate itself, not the. Anywho, we got a piece of grass. We'll get the other painter's tape off that. I just made it as high as the die is. Like you could have made it as high as you want. It's not. It's actually it doesn't need to even be this long. Oh my goodness! It's already ripping in half. Luckily, our paper is two-ply. Yay. And that came out nice. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a perfect die cut. Okay, let's find here. Let me show you how perfect. Okay, look at that. It's like perfect with the outline distance. All right, so let's go like that. And put that over here. Now we're going to glue this part to this part. So we're going to take... We don't have to glue... We're not going to glue it all the way. We're just going to glue it on the this part, like on the bottom, but we're going to just leave it so we can still slip. This little guy is going to still slip under there. So all you're doing is you're gluing the very bottom of it. So here's what I'm saying. Go like this and kind of curl, curl these. And you could do the whole inking thing, you know, with your lemon lime twist marker here. This is just another fun thing to do. Like it's, it's just tone on tone, right? Giving it some extra dimension. And yes, this is a lemon lime twist marker. This is, this is the old style. I'm old school. They do make a new marker now that matches the paper better, but my old school marker is still lemon lime twist. And to prove it, there's the, there's the color. The color's coming out right, but the, the, the shade of the marker looks funny. Okay, so you could do that to color the tips for dimension. See, we're improving upon my first design by doing that. And then you can sort of, and then I just put glue along the bottom. And then I could still shove the, the mailbox underneath it because I'm not putting glue. 
on the whole thing. All right, time for some new Tombow glue. Every one I take out is not working. Or do we use Seal Plus? I'm going to... I'm going to open, I just happen to have a glue like sitting right here. I'm just going to open it and just use it. See, get rid of that. My labels usually fall right off because they get so gunked up. All right, now let's try it. Oh my goodness, now, now that's what you're supposed to do, but not that much glue. So leave the tops open a little because you're going to shove this little guy underneath there after we color it. In fact, we better, we better leave that for a moment because I, I have way too much glue on it. Okay, let's start coloring. We are going to color with the this one, these gray granite for the sides. Now, I always like to look at my original one to see what I did. It looks like I went dark on the outside. I just did the whole section. So dark, gray granite. I mean, if you have smoky slate, if you have basic gray, I mean, whatever you have, just use some kind of gray neutral color. And then I added some shine to it with the Wink Stella to make it look like metal. So I just went, I just did the top darker and then I did this sec other section lighter. Each of these alcohol markers have a small tip, which I was just using, and a wide, a wide tip. So this one's not like, I'm not doing any special shading. I'm just coloring in the whole section with the same color. Now I'm going to do light. We'll get back. We're going to use the dark again on something else. We're doing light. I'm just using the small tip for this. It's easier. All right, so I did dark on this part. Looks like I did light on this part here, underneath the mailbox, and dark on that little section there. See how I'm doing that? So just kind of alternate light and dark, and that's how you get that really cool dimensional effect. So over here is going to be light, because it's the top of that. My, I have so much glue on my fingers, like the marker sticking to my fingers here. <laughs> and let's see that. Okay, that's the open part to the to the outside world. And we're just gonna make that dark and that dark. All right. So then we're gonna the darker one again, like so. Again, gray granite. It's a little. It's a nice light color. Smoky slate will work. Okay, and then this little tiny section here. So I'm copying myself. So copy yourself by looking at your own work and going, what did I do? You know, and try to remember what you did. And, and you know, if you didn't write notes, you just look at your original work and copy yourself. I just go like that. I always store them light and dark. Those, those little trays, by the way, sell them at my store, Stampin' Up store, these trays. All right, let's see. We Wink Estella is always important but um just a little you know do do i'm just doing this to show you how cool it looks with the when it looks like it kind of looks like a metal holder for your mailbox i just did it on the very top and the side okay look at that nice little shine all right so now we're going to take pool party Pool party, light and dark. We're going to do dark on the outside for the mailbox. And you can sort of see to the stamped image underneath it because the, I sh I'm not using thick basic white. I'm using regular basic white. And if I were using thick basic white, you probably wouldn't be able to see through to the back of this cardstock. All right, so dark, pool party, Fine tip side, dark around there, and dark inside that little part like that on the bottom of the mailbox. And then the rest, easy peasy, is going to be light. Pool party. Let's 
get out of here, put that there. And of course my, even though I just keep buying these over and over, my tips are falling apart. I think I might use this. I'm just gonna use the small side. The small side. I use I use things more than your average Joe, right? So it's like my stuff tends to fall apart because I use it so much. And well, you also use some Wink Estelle on the envelope and the flag. Okay, so that's cute. And then we need. For this one, I just did light and dark. So what I did is I went light around the bottom and I did like sort of darker on the top. I went like that and that. But it they almost look the same anyway, but I still wanted a little bit of, that's sweet sorbet, but I still wanted a little bit of contrast, even though they almost look the same. I still used the two colors. Okay, cute little flag. Add Wink, oops, come on, sticking all over me. Add Wink Estelle to your flag because that's metallic. So whatever parts you want to look metallic, you can add like a little Wink Estelle to them. And then we're going to do the envelope. We're going to add, we don't have to do anything to it except add the Wink Estelle because the envelope's already done for us. So we just, I mean, you don't have to color it except if you want. Oops, it looks like, yeah, looks like a little bit of, Something, something got on there, but that's okay. Wink is still to the top of the envelope. Make it sparkle. And it also gives it, when you use this, it's clear, but it also gives it a little bit of color. You can sort of tell. And then, let's see if I can find dimensionals. I went and got I went and got a new pack of dimensionals for the I miss you part. So let's see. This part's going to be uh, the the last thing I did is I did color the grass a little bit to match the other grass. So you're going to take your lemon lime twist marker or blends, and you're just going to get in there and color color the bottom of the sky like so. And if you were just putting this right on a card, you could just do it like that and color this whole thing like that. But I'm actually putting more grass on top of it. I just did a little bit of grass here. Actually, just, just color a little more grass like that in case it sticks out. So now this should be tacky enough where I can put this down and that can go over top of it. So the reason I didn't tack it down yet is because I want this to kind of go over it. I'm going to put this here. Now you want to take your, your little miss you. We're going to put that here. So just lay it there for a moment. It's going to be inside a deckled circle, but let's put it there as a guide, you know, and we're going to put this there. So we don't act, don't, because otherwise, if you attach this and you're like, oh, that looks cute, I'm going to center it. No, 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 don't center it. You need it to be kind of like off center over here. So put something there as your guide before you attach it. And I'm attaching this one straight down because it's not going to be popped up. The other part, the mission will be popped up and the envelope is going to be popped up. So it will be 3D but not the mailbox itself is not. So cute. Okay, now before I see, before I lay it down there, let's make sure this is gonna cover some, put it down further. See what I'm doing? I'm making sure that this little grass is gonna cover the bottom part of that. So yep, good place. Pop it on there and use these lines on the gingham paper as your guide. Okay, so let's put that it's a little bit of an angle. Well, if it, but if it, if it landed, it landed. You sometimes, sometimes leave well enough alone and don't try to move something, or you could rip it. All right, that's it. Now we got that down there. Now we can put the grass, which is not popped up. It's it's just glued. Put this right there. I'll get the extra little bit off the edge. But the reason this is longer than we need is because the paper was shorter. Remember, this was the inside layer. We're only putting grass on the inside layer. I think I'm gonna get a little. Okay, 
All I'm doing now is, you guys, is I'm improving upon my original design. Because I see a little streaks in this. And because I see little streaks, I'm just going to add a little bit of more. I'm putting a little lemon lime twist on the back of a stamping block and just adding some lemon lime twist to this little section with my blending brush. And I'm just going to follow through with some of these because, you know, they. I want them to kind of look like, because a few of them got streaked over there, so I'm just going to make it look like it was on purpose and just make a few more come down like that. Okay. So whenever you mess up, you continue to mess up the whole thing. In other words, I, I mean, I wouldn't say mess up, but like say, because a little bit of marker got down low, then you just make it look like it's supposed to be like that all over the place. And now we're going to trim off the edges. Oh, next we need, we need um, petal pink for the miss you part. All right, let's find the scissors that were right here a minute ago. I got to put back on my hat. I'm wearing a hat right now. My she said it's so cold out here and I have my long sleeve shirt on. That's how much I love you guys. I bear the cold to come and teach crafting. Late night crafting for my night owl friends. Although you're not all night owls because some of you are in the morning. It's like in the morning where you're at in the other side of the world. I'm getting, I'm trimming that little excess piece off the edges. So next you need your deckled circle. Just getting rid of any ink here. Where, where's my deckled circle that I pulled out before the tutorial started? Oops, craft a Stuff just fell on the ground. Don't know what that was, but I'm glad it didn't stub my toe. That was my stamping block. Okay, so before all this started, I said, hey, you need a deckled circle. And I'm not going to cut one, so I'm going to reach over and get one out of my, my little area of crafty goodness over here. Just grab another one. So this is, this is coming in your kit. Labor of love. I have some die-cutting fairies that help me with my kits and help me do some die-cutting for you guys. I love them all dearly, so... We are just going to take a little petal pink and put it on this little deckled circle. Now, I can't for the life of me figure out why they didn't put a circle in here, this size in the die set. I, like, why? They put a circle this size in the die set. This one says, sent with love, sent with love, sent with love. That's adorable. So there's a circle in the die set. Unless I'm missing it, like, I, I open this up and I say, okay, here's hearts, right? I mean, I'm just going to do this again here, right? No circle, no big circle. There's a small circle. There's no big circle. It's like, why? I mean, yes, maybe they expect people to have circle dies, but I would, I would put a circle in there that size. I would have, but, but they didn't. So I put one in your kit for you. Okay. So just saying missed opportunity. I always um, wonder about like, like why not just put a little bit of extra metal. So I'm going to put a little bit of petal pink ink on here and I'm going to get my petal pink blending brush and I'm just going to get in there and just sort of tap it onto my little mat and just ink around the edges like so and just like we talked about we die cut before we we color I always blend my edges before I stamp because in case you mess up the edges and you don't want to you don't want to like smear your ink on here so that's why I do that now we're going to close this one and just use the Memento Black ink again to stamp I Miss You. And this time we'll just use this little stamping block. Come on, get off me. I got the little thing sticking all over me. You go over there. Yeah, go over there. And we're going to just put that on there. And we're, gonna, we're definitely going to put this one on a sticky note first because... I all you know I want to make sure it stamps nicely, right? Before I stamp it onto and it does it stamps nicely before I stamp it onto my deckled rectangle. I mean my deckled circle. 
okay? So there you have your little I Miss You. And why Petal Pink? Because it was one of the coordinating colors. And why Black? Because Black matches the mailbox, and it's a good color for stamping images. And now we're going to take this away. We're going to put that there. We're going to now pop this up, pop the envelope up, put this layer onto the card, like so. Attach this to the Daffodil Delight. And you can add bling, which I'll show you comes in your kit, which I'll probably do before the next tutorial, which I haven't even done yet. But I mean, I haven't, I think I may have to like continue this. I'm going to Houston this week. So who knows if I'm going to be able to pop in another tutorial before I go. That's why I said this series is going to end up going into April. Yay, like that. But you know that I always go all out with every bundle that we feature in this work on this channel. So I like to go all out with every bundle, meaning we do a shaker project. We do, we do, we decorate a box or a 3D item. We do a note card project. We, you know, we, we do a note card project. We do a couple cards. We do different designs. We feature different designer series paper. And we just have a lot of fun. Take one more dimensional. I know it probably didn't need three dimensionals on there, but we need at least two. And then we're going to need one for the envelope. The envelope is popping out of the mailbox. Happy mail, like so, just tilt it on there. And then find the card, which is somewhere on my table. It's over here. And you're gonna open it up like so to make sure that you know that you're that you're not like adhering it upside down. So do that. Just put that over, put that over there so I don't lose it. And if you recall, we did honey, we did stuff with this honey bears when we did the fluffiest friends bundle on my channel and we used the other side of this paper, Th this design with the honey bear. Well, he wasn't a honey bear, but I just made him a honey bear. Well, he was a honey bear because he had a pot of honey. And so I, I used this paper with that whimsical project. Okay, so all you got to do is this and then add some of your bling. Let's see, the little subtle differences on the two cards are that on this card, so this is all we do, that's how it's done, easy peasy. All right, so this, this the subtle differences are that this one, I used Winkastella on the grass. I forgot I, had, we, I put Winkastella on the top of all the grass, and this one I used the marker and the pen and the blender brush on the grass. Okay, both of them, I did make the grass 3D on both of them, and I do like the Winkastella on the grass, so I'm going to go ahead and add... Wink Estella to my grass, as if there's not already enough going on on this grass. Okay. Let's see. You can also, if you want to jazz up your things, you can add Wink Estella a little bit around the edge of your dies. On both, I added Wink Estella on the envelopes. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty much, other than that, just the same. So there's, I'm going to write down the colors for you, bring back that, and show you the measurements again. And then I'll show you the kit. Say hi to you guys. I'll, I'll say hi, and then I'll show you the kit. All right, so we have, these were our measurements, and you're going to add bling and all that good stuff. So let's add the colors. So ink. And ink versus blends. Now, ink is ink, and blends are alcohol. So ink is like dye-based, and this is alcohol. So for the ink, we use Memento Black. And then the only other thing, oh, no, Sweet Sorbet because we did the hearts. And then we're gonna say hearts. And then for the other, we did petal pink. Petal pink for the um, blending. So even though it's regular ink, we blended with petal pink. Now for the blends, we used gray granite. So when I write like this, L and D, that means light and dark. Gray granite, light and dark. That's what that means. Let's move some of this stuff so you can see this whole paper. All right. Go like that. And then next was, let's see, sweet. So I'm just going up the mailbox. We did, next we used pool party. I'm just in the order, in the order of appearance. Like we're at a, we're at a uh, movie here. In the order of appearance, pool party. Pool party appeared next. Starting with the dark. And then we put the light. We always, when we do color with light and dark, we usually start with the dark first on the outside and then light on the inside. Then we did the sweet sorbet blends. 
light and dark, even though you really could have got away with just the light for the mailbox, the little flag. And then we used, um, so we also used a little bit of lemon lime twist. So um, I'm just gonna write, can use, I mean, this is like optional twist either blends, mark, or whatever on the grass. And then we used Winkestella. I'm just putting it up here. I know it doesn't really fit. Add Wink of Stella. Here, let's just say star. Add Wink of Stella to everything. So there's your measurements. Go ahead and take your screenshot of your... Let me let me turn let me tilt my camera a little bit so you can get the screenshot like so. Let me close that so you can see all that. I know there's a big glare there, so we'll put that like so. All right. I'm gonna say hello and thank you guys for liking this video. I see 30 are watching live, which is totally awesome for this time of day. All right, let's see what who we have here watching. Hello, Hilda. Hello, Denise. Thank you for being a channel member. Hello, Michelle. Nice to see you. Hello, Lynn. T from Texas. Kathy, Backyard Stamper. Hello, Dawn. Hello, Debbie Salinas Thank you from Texas. Thank you for being a channel member. When I say channel member, that they're a YouTube channel member. They support this channel with a monthly pledge, which is awesome. And they get perks like discounts on all my kits and swag and things. Hello, Deborah from New South Wales, Australia. Hello, Christina, thank you for being a channel member as well. And the way I know that is their, their name comes up with a special icon and it comes up in bold and I already know. Well, not already, I know because I know anyway, but I know because it also indicates it visually. So yes, 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 let's see, we said hello. To, we didn't say hello to hello to Frida yet. And, and Deborah, Elaine Schneider, Janet, Carlo, nice to see you. Okay, so Christina colors first. Lynn cuts out first. Huh, interesting. Many, oh, because, oh, no, you mean you die cut first. Okay, got you. Hello, Bonnie from Janesville, Wisconsin. And hello, Anne and Pat from Oklahoma and Melissa from Texas. Nice to see all you guys. Hey, you're also, so my husband, Christina, is from Galveston as well. Well, kind of close to there. And he was there for like the really big hurricanes and like told me some crazy stories about having to get food dropped on the roof of his house because of the surge was so high that they had to stay on the roof of their house because Red Cross was coming in helicopters to drop food. There was no way to get out of the neighborhood. This was years ago when he was younger. I have some crazy hurricane stories too, but we won't get there. Okay, looks like you're all making friends. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm going to read all the rest later. Just like, let me jump down to... Okay, we said hi to... Phil came in late there. Well, you're never late. You're here when you're here. All right, does that miss... Like, does that miss you stamp fit in one of the circle punches? I don't know. I haven't tried yet, Melissa. Um... I'll try it maybe for the next video. And if it does, maybe I can, you know, that's a good question because Melissa, here, let me just write Melissa. Okay. Circle punch. Because if it does, I didn't finish. I did finish the kits, but I didn't mail the kits yet. So if it does, I will, if I can get one of my circle punches, I'll give you an extra circle of that size. But I'm not doing any more die cutting. Poke a fork in me, I'm done die cutting. But I don't mind... Uh, circle punching. I can handle that at this late hour, but I can't handle any more die cutting. It's like, ah! <laughs> All right, so, anywho, let's, I hope I got everybody. Lala's Crafts is here. And I hope I said hi to everybody. Well, Bonnie Blake, Karen's here. Oh my gosh, and where you guys just came in now. All right, so circle punch question to answer. So all I'm going to show you now is your kit. So this is what I'm showing you. So first thing in your kit, I hope I don't have anything on my hands here. There's something on the bag, but I hope I don't get anything on this one. This will just be my sample if I do get anything on it. 
So you always get at least six colors of current Stampin' Up! cardstock. And in this case, you got six and a half sheets plus the white and black because I gave you extra of two colors. So you get Daffodil Delight. And this month's, this is what, here, I'll just pull it out. This month's workshop series kit, it's called. If you want to get the workshop series kit, I'll leave it open until tomorrow night. And that's it because I'm going to Texas and I'm going to have to turn off the ordering for that kit because I can't ship out anymore. Unless, like, you care about getting it several weeks later, but that's another story. Oh, so you get Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist. So the first two colors are going to go with the one type of paper, the Be Mine, and then the next two are going to go with another kind of paper. So uh, it's called uh, Delightfully Floral. Okay, next we get Calypso Coral and Berry Burst. Okay, and then... Then you're going to get another kind to go with another kind of paper, which is Orchid Oasis and Night of Navy, which is going to go with the, the paper called Meandering Meadows, which you're going to totally love when I show you that paper. So those are your six colors that I've chose for this Sending Love kit. And then, of course, you get white, which we've already broke into, right? We had to use the white. You're going to need more than the sheet I give you of white, but I always give you at least a piece of white to get started because you're going to need white for the inside of all your cards. So get some white yourself. This is a sampler. And then you always get black. Black in case we do a box project or just because, I mean, who doesn't need black cardstock? So that's what's in your kit for the cardstock and the full sheet of white. Then let's see what else we have. In, in this kit, I've, I've cut you all an extra piece. Even though you have a full piece of lemon lime twist, we're using that for the cards. I gave you an extra piece of lemon lime twist, a quarter of a sheet, so that you can make lots of grass. Okay. And then I gave you this one. And I want to show you what this looks like. Let me see if I have my, my envelope. I started making these little, it's so cool. The bottom of these mailboxes. Just seeing if I can find the little case for my die cut. Super, super cool. All right. They, they have eluded me they have escaped my presence but there's this so you have a little piece of this because on your dies there's this really cool piece and it's you need the piece of crumb cake to make it look like wood now you also have wood texture in some of your cards in some of your designer series paper okay next you have a two of these memories and more cards and envelopes you got a big one wait where's the big one i don't know why you don't have a big one on this one but you're supposed to have a big one I hope I didn't die cut it. No, here it is. Here it is. See how it has a score line in it? So these are called memories and more cards and envelopes. So there's two sizes in the memories and more cards and envelopes. You get a note card size and you get a memories and more cards. So you get two of those cards and two of those envelopes in your kit like so. And then you get one of these envelope treat boxes that we'll decorate in this series. And it has a little two little seals. You don't really need the seals, but I gave them to you anyway. So that's what's in that package. Okay, next package... Let me move this bag. But wait, there's more. So in your kit, you get all these. You're getting, this is what comes in your Be Mine. You're going to get Be Mine and Be Dazzle. So Be Mine, designer series paper, and Be Dazzling paper, right? Be Dazzle, this is specialty paper. And I already showed you what this looks like, but I'm just showing you that you always get 12 sheets in all of my thingies, all my kits. Well, not always 12 sheets, but in this case... You did get 12 sheets. And not, you're not getting 12 of the celebration because they ran out of it. And I had plans to give it to everybody and then to use it for this workshop. But then during the celebration, they ran out of one of my celebration papers I had planned for this. So I had to change change it up. But that's what, the, that's what you get. Be mine. And you're going to have extra for next Valentine's Day. You're going to have use some of the spring parts now. And these are three by six for the specialty papers. You get all the product numbers. It's all labeled with love, so you know how to get more of all the stuff that you can't live without. All right, so that was a package, and it comes like that. And then next was the package of Meandering Meadows. You're going to love this paper. It just has really cool wood textures and art textures, and you also get some little specialty samplers of some glimmer, three-color glimmer paper that goes with this. Pretty Peacock, Petal Pink, and I believe that's Highland Heather. Ooh, this paper is so nice. 
So this is an online exclusive paper, if you're not familiar with it. Just gorgeous. And you have, now we have, the reason I love it is we have grass, we can use for grass. We can put the mailbox in on these different scenes, like it's just sitting there in a field, or we could put it like the mailbox is just kind of like on its own and with this nice cool backgrounds. Oh, Lynn's saying she got her scan and cutback box. Wow. I'm not going to be able to get them all out before I leave, but I'm glad you got it. Take a picture for the VIP group and you'll be entered into the unboxing challenge. Posted in the unboxing challenge thread. I'm glad you love your... That's like the best kit I've ever put together, Lynn. And I've put together like hundreds and hundreds of kits, but that is the best kit as far as like value, I would say, that I've ever put together. With my mom's watermelon bag, you got celebration items. It's an epic kit. Yeah, I mean, that kit was so much fun. Vinyl. We're going to have a fun scan and cut retreat. But, you know, I just can't. I can only get so many mailed each day, so I'm going to have to mail some of them when I get back from Houston. All right, isn't this paper awesome? Okay, so the reason I put that certain colors of cardstock in there is so that they would coordinate with this. I hope I showed you the wood texture. I don't know if I've got back to the beginning, but look how cool this is for the grass and the wood. And hello, Charlene. So you love her watermelon bag? That's cool. I will tell her. So let's put that in there. Oops, I wanted to have this piece be the front. Because it has a nice, the long and winding road. Right? It's just so fun. I don't remember what I put where, but a couple of these colors were in the front and a couple were in the back. I'll try to remember how I had that set up. It was probably not like that because I had a piece, a prettier piece in the back. All right, it is what it is. I can never get, it's kind of like you never get anything back together the way it was. Next, you're getting delightful floral in your kit because this is a, another online exclusive and I think it's just gorgeous paper. And you're getting more specialty paper in this bag as well. And this was a last minute edition of specialty paper because it's one of the, I was able to only give you two inches of it though. Now, normally I give you three inches of, well, I try, it, it depends. This one I gave you three inches by six. And this one I had already cut smaller because I used them for something else. This one I thought, I just got this, it's brand new. And I wasn't able to get a whole lot of it because they limit us in pre-order because of people like me who would buy like everything in the warehouse. But that's really cool glimmer paper. It's called... It's called Berry Burst Old Olive and White Glimmer Paper. And isn't this going to be fun for snowflakes? Stock up on that now for snowflakes when, when the winter comes. All right, so look at this really cool translucent types of florals and everything. I just love this. Okay, so it's supposed to be... Here, let's just get that to go here. Let's get like that to go back so I can get it back in the bag. I'm just going to show you like this. So this is the delightfully... Delightful Floral Designer Series paper that we'll be playing with for the series. These remind me of like lilies, like floating lilies. The colors are amazing. The, the artwork is amazing. So that's that. You get 12 sheets of that too. So we're already up to 12, 12, 12, 36. But you actually get 42 sheets in this one because you're going to get six of a celebration paper as well. Let me put these in the bag. And I was able to get everybody some of this. But not a whole lot. So it's called Sunny Days. Okay, and it's really fun. This was one of the freebies, but it ended on February 29th. Look how happy this paper is. It's just so nice and happy. The clouds. Not everybody gets the same pattern of clouds because of the way the paper was cut. But you have a partial cloud pattern. And she's got cherries and pool party lines and flowers and sun, sunny page and strawberries. And some butterflies. Okay, so that's called Sunny Days. And then you got, this is just a little piece of paper I put in there to help preserve your window sheet. You always get six by six of a window sheet. That's for our shaker project. And then you get adhesive sheet. This is 
for making the die cut stickers. That's awesome adhesive sheet. This is a masking paper for your masking your stamped images. You're like, you know how I used a mask today to mask off part of this while I stamped on another part. This is a removable, it's like removable sticker paper, kind of like sticky note paper. It's masking paper. And then you have dun, 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 a sheet of dimensionals. Always get dimensionals in my kits. And this is for your shaker project. It is a sheet of, or a piece of foam adhesive strips. And all of that is in one bag. I'm gonna put, I'm putting the flowers on the front just cause it's springtime. Okay, put that back in there. But wait, there's more. All right, so let's see, it says window sheet, done. Adhesive sheet, done. Masking sheet, done. All right, da da da, and da da da, okay. There, that's that. Now, if I if I do have a circle punch that'll fit you, I'm gonna I'm gonna open up these bags and add one more die cut shape. But here's your bag of die cuts that you're going you're going to get in this kit, and die cut and punch shapes. Here, let's put something down that's darker. I'll just put I'm just gonna put this down just so you can see it. So these are just little strips of basic white. And then you got your stylish shapes dies and your nested essentials. And this is one of the special paper pumpkin dies that I cut out for you from the special paper pumpkin edition dies. This is a deckled rectangle and a deckled circle. And I forget detailed something, delicate details maybe. Uh, fancy something fancy. This is the hexagon punch and stylish shapes dies. So another, I did another circle because I really think they should have had some circles in this kit because we need circles. But like I said, I might put one more circle in here. Okay, so then there's more. You're going to get some embellishments. You're going to get, right here, I wrote what it is. Tinsel gems four pack and adhesive back sparkle gems. And we're going to add some of this to our projects as we go. I'm, I'm just waiting to make sure I have enough because I don't want to have to get more just for like one extra kit. So I always just have enough. Now that you're going to get some ribbon, this is what my mom helps me with. She is thoughtful expressions. Thank you for the circly die. Thank you. Thoughtful expressions. I was wondering if it delicate detail. I think I just ordered a second set of them. They're such awesome dies, but it's thoughtful expressions. Thank you. Thank you, Elaine, saying my kits are wonderful. Yeah, they're very, they're made with love. That's, that's, thank you, T. The kits are amazing. So this one is called Knight of Navy Glittered Ribbon and Knight of Navy Bordered Ribbon. So these are both Knight of Navy. They don't look like it, right? One's glittered in gold ribbon and one's bordered, but they both are Knight of Navy, which go with our, it's a neutral color and it goes with like anything, but especially with the Meandering Meadows because the Meandering Meadows actually has Knight of Navy as one of the coordinating colors. So look how cool that ribbon's going to look with that. All right, now that's that and shut this, but there's such cute things coming. Wait, there's more, there's more. I have like four more cute things to show you. All right, so... One thing is, every time I do a, one of these kits, my mom helps me, or I do this sometimes, we just fill these little bottles. And I think I'm down to my last batch of bottles. Not bottles, you, I got the bottles, but I'm saying the last batch of sequins because the sequins, I hope they come out with new sequins in the new annual catalog, but these are, these are called For Everything Sequins, or Sequins for Everything. Well, some of them are called For Everything Sequins. There's two colors of them. For Everything Sequins and Sequins for Everything. There's two kinds of colors or sequins. So I'm putting this colors in. I'm putting the darker colors because there's more reds in here. Everybody's getting a little bottle of sequins for your shaker project. Okay, and then this is a little project I'm working on while watching Dynasty on Netflix for the second time. I love that show. Have you guys seen it? Totally awesome. If you like TV drama, and I'm not talking about the Dynasty from the 90s. I'm talking about like the more modern version of Dynasty that's on Netflix. It's so fun. So while I'm watching it, I do things like this. I fill little bottles with crafty goodness. So everybody's getting some crafty goodness, extra crafty goodness. You're getting little brads. Okay, because you don't need the big ones actually for this, but I gave you eight anyway. You only need the small ones for the little mailbox hinge to make your mailbox spin, but I gave you eight anyway. So you got, you know, four blacks and four white ones in another cute little tiny jar. And because it's Easter time, you're getting some jelly beans, some jelly belly jelly beans, because I always put a treat in there. And an extra treat this month is going to be 
So in addition to your jelly bean treat, this is a sweet treat. You're also getting a tea treat. You're getting a tea pyramid. So this kit is going to be very colorful and super fun. So the bags, we're not doing bags this month on this particular kit because this month we had, I don't know if you know about it, but we, we have the, the workshop for my brother's cannon cut and they're all getting like a watermelon bag in the workshop and my mom has been sewing her little butt off. So we're not doing any bags for this one because she's already made watermelon bags for the scan and cut retreat and she's already made cow bags for my card club. So lots of bags if you have other clubs this month, you know. So that's what the kit is entails, that, that entails and maybe, maybe some more surprises will end up in this bag before I send it. I'll try to do a video of my kit and what it looks like by tomorrow. But my table is so full, I doubt I'm even going to be able to clear my table enough off to do that. But that is all for now. This is the Paper Chef. Have a great evening and go make some cards. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. This is the Paper Chef. Thank you, Tracy.